Hey, what's going on, Hot Shark? This is John Stevenson from the band Digital Summer, and I'm going to answer a few questions for you guys. So growing up, I started playing music at, uh, at the age of 12. I picked up a guitar, and uh, ever since then, you know, my parents have been real supportive throughout this whole journey from the time I started until my current age of 25. You know, as of right now, I'm doing national tours on national rock radio and all that. So... I guess just a, a little rewind. My parents have always been supportive. I always got my schoolwork done. Do that. Uh, you know, I graduated high school. I graduated college. So I guess because I had a backup plan in case music didn't work out, that they really had nothing else to complain about. I actually joined up with Digital Summer about uh, January of 2012. The band has been together since 2006. And I actually found out that they kicked their original lead guitarist out and they were hosting auditions. And I found that out through their email service I was signed up for. And my brother told me about it. So basically it was a uh, three-part process. I submitted pictures and a biography. The second, I submitted audio clips. And the third was a uh, video of me playing guitar. And then the final process, after, you know, after each round, they would eliminate people. And the final process was a live audition, so I uh, flew out from Louisiana, where I'm from, flew out to Phoenix, audition, and luckily I made it. And <laughs> significant musical influences. I'd have to say number one is the guy who taught me how to play guitar. His name's Leighton Laborde. I uh, took guitar lessons from him in Bossier City, Louisiana, which is right outside of Shreveport. And he actually learned guitar from Kenny Wayne Shepherd's teacher. If you don't know Kenny Wayne Shepherd, he's a uh, Louisiana legend. He's a blues guitarist, uh, internationally renowned, great, great guitar player. Um, so basically, Leighton taught me everything there is to know about a guitar, and he taught me to apply that knowledge to the type of music that I play and the type of music that I want to write. So um, I guess his knowledge just gave me the ability. To, uh, to be able to do these kinds of things and um, actually make, make an idea come to life. Aside from that, my favorite guitarist is Mark Tremonti from Creed and Alter Bridge. And... Alright, so if you were to scroll through my iPod right now, you would find a lot of Mark Tremonti. You would find some I Empire. Uh, Brad, their guitarist, is great guitarist, great guy, just great people to be around. So. That's always an added plus when you have such a great band that you know that they're good people too. So, I Empire projected another big record I've been into since it came out in the summer. Uh, my friends in Prospect Hill, they're from Boston, Massachusetts. We did a tour with them recently. Twelve mm -hmm. Stones. Um, see who else? Obviously, the Almighty Seven Dust. I don't think they've left mm -hmm. my iPod since I got one back in 2004. Great guys, they always put out killer records, you know, um, live show, they're phenomenal. So, if you don't know of Seven Dust, check them out. If there were one person in my career who I would say has made a, a big difference, I would say my brother. He doesn't play music, he never has, he doesn't know any instruments, but... Because of his continued support from the moment I picked up a guitar until, you know, my current state now. And like I said before, if it weren't for him, I never would have known about the Digital Summer Audition, so I wouldn't be here. Um, but other than that, I guess just because he was uh, so supportive and he truly believed in my talent and what I could do with it, that he kind of um, exposed it to, to everybody, you know, without me asking. And uh, he, he pretty much made me practice because he would talk me up to all his friends like oh he can play this he can play this solo by Metallica and at the time you know there were times that I couldn't play it so I had to learn it real fast so that added pressure you know it made me a better guitar player so my greatest fear um, musically I would have to say that I won't be able to travel to a foreign country to play music uh, it's not really a fear, I guess, but it's something that I've always wanted to do before I die, so it's a bucket list item. Um, other than that, I guess my biggest fear would be mm -hmm. to uh, to die while on tour if we're traveling in the bus. 
you know, crazy driving conditions. Who knows? I guess getting in a wreck in general while on tour. I'm not one of those people that, that sits in their room all day and practices, although I did when I was a kid growing up. But I do wish there were more opportunities that I did practice when I wasn't doing anything. You know, I was being unproductive playing Xbox or something. And, uh, you know, when I go out to shows or we go on tour and I see just incredible guitar players and knowing that I could be at their level if I had practiced a little bit more, it's, it's kind of a regret to me. But all in all, I'm very satisfied for where I am. I would say my greatest accomplishment um, in life in general, graduating college, having an education, always good to have a backup plan. Musically, I would have to say that our album Breaking Point, it debuted at number 70 on the Billboard Top 100 charts. We debuted at number 13 on the iTunes Rock Charts. Our first single, Forget You, uh, charted at number 38 on the Rock Charts. And our current single, Dance in the Fire, is actually currently on number 49 on the active rock charts and it's only been out for a week so I guess that would be a huge you know accomplishment for myself I never dreamed I would make any type of relevant charts you know for the whole United States it's uh, still hard to sink in but very very cool if I could be anywhere in the world right now I would have to say playing overseas at one of the big music festivals, Download Festival in the UK or Soundwave in Australia. It's a, it's a totally different atmosphere over there. If you look at YouTube videos of, of uh, ACDC or somebody huge, even modern rock bands like uh, Stone Sour, you see the crowds they play in front of and it's just unreal. The, uh, the appreciation for music over there, it's, it's the same here but on a different scale. It's a totally different environment obviously. So it's it's a totally new experience that I hope one day that I'll be able to see and you know live live that dream for myself.